Okay, uh, as you could see, this is the water inlet and outlet uh, hole, and this one is the overflow hole. And if we want to add water into the machine, first we have to press this blue button to take out the stopper, and then connect the water injection tool. We see that the water coming out from the overflow hole. That means the water tank is fulfilled. Each handle has these label stickers. You just connect the uh, handle into the machine with the match labels. Okay, as you can see, there are six handles inside this machine, and after everything is settled down, we turn on the machine. These four heads have their control panel on the handle. So this bigger one is only for the radio frequency and the cavitation head. So we enter into this cavitation control panel to set up the intensity and then set the time for like 25 minutes. Each section of this cavitation head is uh, need 25 minutes. Then we press the pause to start the head. And after you finish this handle, we enter into a radio frequency. <coughs> Same way to increase the intensity of the radio frequency output. And then set the 20, 20 minutes, that's enough. 20 minutes and press the pause to start the radio frequency head. And then We are coming to this vacuum loader head, we call it very shape uh, handle also. Uh, these two loaders, there are two loaders and the radio frequency, vacuum and laser light in this head handle. And all of these functions could be controlled by this panel. These are the four rotate directions and this button are for the pump setting and the radio frequency setting and these buttons are for the laser light and the uh, radio frequency button then we choose one rotate direction and the laser light on <coughs> And then we can set the time. By using this test, we usually stress that 25 minutes to 30 minutes, that's enough. So we set 25, uh, 25 minutes and the radius we can see for about. We start from label 5 and then we we'll turn on the vacuum. And then the radius we can see. And this button is to control the output waves of the air pressure and we use this button to increase or, dis uh, or decrease the air pressure output has we also call it fat freeze has they have the same functions so
we set the time for like 30, 35 to 40 minutes per part. And then we set the temperature. Turn the red light on. The cooling and the battery. And if there are any kind of emergency, press this remove button. These are also the output modes of the air pressure. And you could use the air pressure output button to control the air pressure output. This B10 multifunctional head. Uh, there are radio frequency micro column, cavitation, vacuum, and laser light all in one head. And we sell the radio frequency for like level 8 micro column, cavitation output. And for about 25 minutes per section and then we turn all of these functions on this mode is also stands for uh, it also stands for the air pressure output mode and you could also increase or decrease the air pressure output by adjusting this button. And that's it. So we are going to use the gel. The gel to work with this cavitation head and the radio frequency head. And this uh, V10 multi multifunctional head and uh, uh, vacuum loader head, we call it a uh, very shake head. We are going to use the oil, the oil or the essence to work with the heads because there are vacuum inside the head, inside these two heads. So we should not use the gel because the gel will start the air pipe. And we will use the antifreeze membranes to work with these two fat freeze heads. 